Okay, Calvin Gastein. That's Northeastern Clinton Central School. This is our second introduction. Our first one is going to be in the uh, garbage pile. We did a 90 minute, 90 second introduction, and all of a sudden the uh, camera started saying they had needed cleaning, so we had to throw on a fresh tape and clean the head of the camera and now we're back this is junior varsity girls soccer in the CVAC we're at Northeastern Clinton so you know the team in white it is the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars and if you recognize Corey Thompson out there you might recognize that the team in green is the Shazy Eagles like their boy counterparts, the JZ JV girls play a, a CBAC junior varsity schedule. Seton Catholic is here at the varsity level tonight. They do not have a JV squad, so JZ follows them around. If there's a Seton Catholic varsity game going on, then there's going to be a a JV JV game going on, and when Seton has a home game, then JV has a home game in JV. So it's a good way for JV to have not just a modified team like the rest of the MVAC schools do, but also to have a JV squad. So another level. For the uh, young Eagles to compete at, and uh, they don't have to come up from a modified right to varsity, as is the case with most of the MVAC teams, Mountain Valley Athletic Conference. So, JZ is fortunate to be able to compete in the Champlain Valley Athletic Conference at the JV level. Most of us who follow uh, JZ would like to see. The varsity also, boys and girls, in the CBAC and soccer. Now, Corey Thompson is the coach for Shazy, and Shazy graduate Sarah Hanfield is the new junior varsity coach for the Cougars. For the Eagles, the keeper is Logan Baker. Number one is Ashley Gilmore. Three is Christine Pilon. Four, Courtney Gilmore. Five is Victoria Lyons. Uh, six is Caitlin Kozak. Seven, Heidi Kreckel. Abby Snide is number eight. Rachel Pombrio, number nine. Paige Barcombe wears number 12. Allie Hayes, 13. Kaylee Bashard is 15. Bailey Stalker, 16. Stephanie Gagnon, 17. Michaela Cahoon is 18. Shelby Gagnon is 19. Sam Trombley, not the uh, long time, uh, many decade county legislator from Ellenburg, but a younger Sam Trombley is number 21. In fact, she doesn't even spell her name the way the that's usually spelt in, in Shazy. It's got the double e, e on the end, E E. That's kind of a Willsboro type of spelling of Trombley. Um, Maritza St. John Lester is number 22. Paige Garnett is 23. And Brianna Wynn is number 24. Over on the Cougar side, Celine Houle is 1. Miranda Menard, 2. Alexa Sorrell, 
Mars number three, Taylor Rabidou four, Jenna Lavalle five, Paige Dominic six, Andy Boyer seven, Morgan Rabidou is eight. Uh, Amanda Harvey is supposed to be wearing number nine. Uh, Kelsey Monette, 10. Michaela McDonough, 11. Ashley Boyer, 12. Lexi Pirro is 13. Tiana Ledoux is 14. Where's the ball? Here we go. Uh, let's see. Jen Favreau is uh, 15. Felicia Tedford is 16. Darian Carey is 17, Ali Hanktail is 22, and Chelsea Menard 23. Christy. Christina Paola is the keeper. Forty minute halves. And to the side of the net. And if we didn't have enough uh, Shazy representation with Sarah Hanfield being the Cougar coach, Sarah, former Crazy graduate. We got uh, Red Wilson and John Sachs. A couple of proud Shaziers refereeing. <laughs> Temperature in the 50s. Handball on the Cougars. Cajon will set it and put it back in play. Angtail going after it, but it's controlled by Kozak momentarily. Cougar throw. Rabidou with the throw. Shazy throw, this is 12, that's Barcombe. Can't do a lot of play-by-play, -play, otherwise we won't be zooming in on the action. Straight on shot there by uh, Pombrio. Barcombe up the other side over to Gilmore. Taken away by the Cougars, brought back to the 18. Barcombe will take the throw. We're approaching the 30 minute mark. We are Almost 10 minutes into the game. Ball well, inbounded to Hayes. Uh, pushed back into the box. Paola oh, playing it on the side. Dangerous way to play that one. Good punt. Comes up to 15 Favreau. Went out of bounds off Gilmore. More subs for the Cougars. Leduc with the throw. And the Cougars have it. Looks like we have a dead fly on the window here. We'll have to get rid of that. consulted when they uh, built this booth and they built the one in Shazy they uh, 
asked uh, a little advice for taping purposes when they built the first one here. They asked, but not when they built the second one. Which is why we have a pole obstructing the part of our field here. Come the Cougars. This is Pero. Taking the corner. You see the wind is not much of a factor at the moment. The autumn colors are uh, are here for the time being. Snide will take the goal kick. This is Lions kicking it back. Barcombe makes it down the field, intercepted by the Cougars. Number eight over there for Northeastern. That's Morgan Rabidou. White throw. Magana took it away from uh, Pombrio. Green throw. White push, Gilmore will take the free kick or the restart. And it's wide. The goal kick is intercepted, brought right back. Oh, player taken down. We're going to have a stoppage. We're going to. Bring it outside the box, or what's the call? Offside, what's the call? Is it the uh, foul, or? Uh, restart, this is uh, Pombrio. Right just outside the 18. Good shot, right to Paola. Ball comes up to Favreau. Taken away nicely by Agano. Kick it back for the Cougars by Leduc. Up to Favreau. Kick back by Kozak. And ball stays in play. Trying to get their way through. A green throw. Barcom will take it. Stop by McDonough. Picked by uh, Lions over to Crackle. Dana takes it away. Back home again. Good, good ball. Hard kicks it. But it's sent back. That was number six, Kozak, I think. Uh, yep, in the corner, kind of out of our view. Donna? This is uh, La Valley sending it down the field, kicking back. Probably St. John Lester doing that one. Green throw. Pull 
Pero will take the corner kick. Down the field. It's a race. Magana racing with Trombley. Brought back by Gilmore. Up for Crackle. Courtney Gilmore will take the corner kick. Or uh, one at Slow Valley. The Valley getting a shot off. A good effort there. Who's battling uh, two eagles? And Snide puts it back in play. Kobe's bring it right back to the 18. Carry with a throw. You can hear the uh, Cooper Varsity girls arrive. A long standing tradition of uh, hollering and screaming, meeting somewhere, and coming together as a group, and what? letting the world know when they arrive. Donna will take the throw. Kick comes way wide. <laughs> and hard with the throw. Lifted her foot. What flavor of lollipop do we have? Is it is it red? Yeah. By Boer over to uh, Miranda Menard. And a cougar throw. Another illegal throw that was a Boer, I guess. Garnet, uh, Garnet will take it. Have different ideas. Barnett with a throw. About 16 to go in the first half. Uh, the subs are still coming off, so they're going to rethrow that one. Boyer tosses it in. Offside. Let's be Inkill. Snide restart. Inkill runs into Snide. I got uh, 15. That's uh, Bichard getting involved. Now 
Nick Dill and Snide still going at it. Donna. Shay-Z, this is Crackle. Oh, it's the goalpost. Paola's best friend saves that one. Nice shot by Crackle. Uh, both teams substituting often. This will be Ashley Gilmore with the throw. 14 minutes to go in the first half. Still zeros on the scoreboard. Kicked by uh, Pombrio. And Ogano. And cleared out by Rabadou. Up to Anktil. Anktil battling with uh, Bayshard. Headed Snide, slides it over here and kill intercepts. And kill, keeping after it. Looks like uh, Bayshard decided to grab a seat. Cougar throw. Accepted by Dominic. Uh, Gilmore. There is a shot. It's going to go wide by Wynn. Bayshard. Uh, let's see, who was that? 13, Hayes. Uh, 17, Gagno. Barcon will take the throw. 11, 17 to go and a half. There's a shot. Nice, nice job by Pombrio getting there. Paola puts it in play. Handball on uh, Barcom. Rabideau leaves it. And Maduk will put the ball in play over midfield to uh, Hool. Sent back by Shay Z. Donna and uh, Pombrio fighting for it. And Pombrio wins that one. At the 18. And Gilmore. Green throw. 10 20. Yeah, showing in the first half. Picks it up. Boer and Snide. Snide kicked back by Sorel. Barcom will take the throw. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to say 16. That's uh, Tedford for the uh, Cougars offside here on the, the Eagles. The kick comes to 18. It's not down by Gagno. Off the head of Snide. 12 is Boyer. Snide working to get it. Snyder will put the ball in place and switch sides with it. McTill steps in front, but picking up the ball was uh, Kozak. Stopped at midfield by McDonough. Sent back down by LaDuke. This was uh, Gagneau. Kicked back by the Cougars. Be Gagneau dropping it and Letting Barcombe throw it in. Off the leg of Leduc. Barcombe again. Like Rabbitoh was going to clear it, and Pombrio had it, and uh, all of a sudden Rabbitoh had a little help. Page Barcon will take the throw. And the ball came to Kelsey Monette for the Cougars. Barcon will take the throw. Cleared out, under six to go in the first half, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Battle the North Country here. Shazy and Northeastern. There's the throw by uh, LaDuc. Snide sends it back. Barcom throws it in. Another shazy throw. You're watching viewer supported hometown cable. If you're watching this, we need your support. Keep this program in coming. Bernard. Taken away by Cahoon. Cahoon got a foot on it again, up to the 18. Offside. Kick for the Cougars. Cougar throw. Quickly thrown back in for the Cougars. This is Barcombe passing forward.
Halfway. Approaching the two minute mark. Got a corner kick. Kicked by Courtney Gilmore. Oh, she wants another corner kick. <laughs> no, no corner kick. Going out on the side. Eagles keep it. Down to one and a half to go in the first half. This is Monette. Taken away by Kozak. Sent up by Ganyo. Quickly thrown in. Cajon with uh, the shot. That Iowa handles rather nonchalantly. Under a minute showing in half. Gilmore. Back to the 18. Now to 28 seconds. This is uh, Hayes and picked up by Paola. 20 seconds. Bounces over the head of Kozak. We'll uh, try to carry it down. Sounds just as Andy Boyer was rattling it off the crossbar. So it's 0 0 at the half. Shazy and Northeastern on viewer supported hometown cable. Sorrell cooks it off, kick, <laughs> cooks it off, kicks it off to <laughs> start the Second half. I have talked to referee John Sachs and he has assured me that he will not allow it to go over time. So, we're leaving the, this game in his hands. This is Dominic. Jay-Z and Northeastern Junior Varsity Girls Soccer. In the CVAC. Jay-Z plays CVAC in the JV and uh, in the boys and girls. Nice uh, grab there by Paola. On a, on a good shot. That was... I don't know. Was it... Uh, Kozak took that shot? Probably. Kicked by Rabbit Duke and uh, Huel for the Cougars. Now uh, Taylor Rabbit Duke with a high boot. And this is Snide. No, it's not Snide, it's 8. Yeah, it is Snide. Snide is 8. Rabidou sends it over the head of Snide. And we're going to have a shot here. Ashley Munoz yanks it wide. She'll be dreaming about that one. About 3 o'clock in the morning, she'll wake up screaming. Oh, 
diving stop by Logan Baker. Baker didn't get to touch the ball much in that first half. 19, that's Gagno, up to 4, that's Gilmore. Taken by 16, Tedford. And Taylor Rabideau. Hank Till. Stripped away by Kozak. A white throw. Kozak. Snide there with Munoz. Four minutes into the second half. Ten percent of the second half. Which would make about fifty-five percent of the game. Uh, it's uh Garnett sending it up to the eighteenth to the uh, midfield area I should say. With a pass up to Pombrio. Magana and Pombrio battling. Pombrio tries to put it in front of the net. Cougars take it away, but sent right back by Barcombe and carried out by Rabidou. Green throw, close the heck throw. Quickly thrown in for the Cougars. Barcom will take it. The eighteen. Back and forth between the 18 and midfield. It's kicked out by uh, Tedford. Black home with a throw. Barcom sends it to the 18. Stopped. Nice night. The Duke with a throw. Well, 
Back and forth, under 32 to go. Offside. Let's uh, put back in play by uh, Rabidou. Off Tedford. Thrown in by Barcon. Mokano will take the throw. Dale Menard, a busy little ball boy on this side. Real. against the Cougars. He goes will take the restart. Garnett, oh, excuse me, uh, Cahoon. Oh. White throw. Going in by Leduc. Pick it up. Into the corner. Call one against Rabidou. Fombriel. It's the call. Here's Gilmore to take it. And Paola carries it out. Stopped by Garnett. Sent down the field by Kozak. Gets it by Hayes. Uh, Rabidou. Carey will take the throw. Is Peril. Green throw. Easy. Clear it out. Snide traps it. Taken away by the five, Lavalle. And Lavalle with a nice shot. I don't remember Lavalle being that blonde before. A nice stop there by Baker.
Uh, kept in by Menard. Nope. Up. Down to 26 to go in the second half. Still 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. Donna kicks it. Pick up by Menard. Deep by Barcom, who was giving chase. There's McDonough. Barcom with the throw. Baker. Shot puts it out. Under 24 to go in the second half. All at the 18. Slide battling with number 10, Monette. Monette brings it back in. And Baker will grab it. This is uh, Lexi Piro. Piro goes down and bouncing her chin off the ground. Shazy ball. Back home. Green throw. Anyone is Trombley. Off white, and a green throw. Green throw. White throw, looks like Monette. throw. Go to the 21 minute mark. Fifteen is Bayshard. Here come the Cougar of the Eagles. Kelsey! Kelsey! 
Baker up there ahead of the valley. Ball's gonna go off uh, Miranda Menard. Trying to give her father some work. Three and throw. Gilmore will take it. Snide sends it back. Up to Gilmore. Over to the other Gilmore. Green throw. Snide sends it. Now it's cleared. Gilmore more carrying it. Park on with a throw. Stalker battling with the uh, wear for the Cougars. And thrown in by Leduc. Leduc could have throw. Right, Till. Interrupted by Snide. Oh, and they both go down. Snide will take the free kick. Supported a local television hometown cable. Put some uh, kids who were playing whose parents we taped, and uh, they never supported us. Uh, we taped the parents, now we're taping their kids, and uh, they still don't support our efforts. Snide will take the throw. up by Garnett. Kicked down the field by Dominic. Here comes LaValle. Couldn't quite turn it. Hope these kids realize I do not want to go overtime here. Pleasant evening. Colors aren't bad.
Could use a little more red out there, I think. I'll have to plant some of the red uh, trees that uh, are red in the fall. Valley keeping the pressure on. Here's Snide with the restart and the goal kick. It's by Tedford. And the Lions' mother was on that 84 Shazy team that went to the States just before I started taping in the Shazy. They cut cable and 85 and I started taping them in 85 and 86 I started hometown cable but we've been taping since June of 83 there's the valley there's Crackle Throw in for a win. Missy wins. Little girl Brianna. Win again. And sends it up at 18. Hankill sent it forward. Snide's there at 12. I think good hustle by La Valley. And we have subs coming in. A cheesy throw. Tedford steps up. Good hustle. Into the box. Cleared out by Kozak. And Snide takes it away. Tedford. Good foot by Tedford. It's kicked by uh, Kozak. And we have a whistle. Maybe a green kick. Garnet, uh, excuse me, Cahoon. The second time I've done that. Cahoon put it in play. Cahoon again. Valley, good, good through ball. The Valley still hustling there, battling Kozak. The Valley tries to put it in front of the net, and goes behind. Keeping the pressure on. Tedford. And picked up by Baker. 10 23 away from uh, overtime. 0 0 on the scoreboard. 3 is Sorrell. She's down. Back on her feet. Try there by uh, Tedford. Here comes Shay Z. Donna corrals it. She and Hayes are battling for it now. Come up to the valley. Tedford. Wynn will take it. 
Nope. She'll give it to Cahoon. And here comes Northeastern. Good ball up for Monette. Good job of taking it away by Kozak. Cougars get it right back. 8.15 remaining in the second half. Win. Win gets it. Good effort by Pombriel. She gets her team a uh, corner kick. Or, or is it a, another type of kick? Corner kick. Gilmore. Less than seven remaining in the second half. Cajon with a throw. Up for Pombriel. The 18. Tedford clears it out. Five and a half remaining in the second half. Here's LaValle again. Snide interrupts. Tedford with a throw. To the 18. And it's going to go just wide. Good shot. For the Cougars by uh, Piro. Four and a half before overtime. Throw. Hold in by uh, Menard. Back within the box, Lavalley giving chase. Kicked out of bounds by Shelby Gagno. Here's the corner. Ball drops and lands. That was uh, Caitlin Kozak stepping in front, kicking that out. 3.20 to go in the second half. Dominic. Dominic with a... Tedford with a throw. Tedford again. McDonough. Cohen kicks it up to Garnett. 
Intercepted by Rabideau, ball sent to the 18. 2.10 left on the clock in the second half. We're still scoreless, 0-0. Zero, zero. Corner kick. Well, the alley's over there to take it. A minute and a half. Goal kick. A whistle came right after a kick. I think it was the go ahead and kick the ball whistle. So it may have caught some players flat footed. And you heard the whistle. One minute and five seconds remaining in the half, in the second half. One minute away from overtime. Tedford throws it in. No elbow. Could have been an elbow ball. Oh, it's cleared. 36 seconds away. Come on, girls. You got it. 27. Menard with a throw. Illegal throw. Ten seconds. to overtime. It's 0-0 at the end of regulation here on viewer supported hometown cable. And the first of two 10 minute overtimes underway. Eastern, October 4th, 2010. 10-4-10. White throw. Shot by Hayes. Always put it back in play. Picked by Gilmore up. To Hayes. Back on the throw. Chipped nicely, but short. Back on with a throw. And cleared out by the Cougars. Comes the valley again. Baker stays back, and the valley puts it in. No oh, wide. The valley just wide, deflected by Baker. So it'll be a corner kick, and the valley will take it.
This is uh, Pombriel for Shazy. Pale brings it to the 18. Thrown in by Garnett. Joe Southwick here. Hi, Calvin. How are you? Another uh, overtime game. Uh, you forgot the stupid part. Stupid overtime. <laughs> stupid overtime. I'm sorry. That was a heck of a chance. Cougars just sat there a minute ago. An opportunity, it's called. Yeah. Uh, made a heck of a play on that. Sounds like you're ready to start talking, Joe. No, I got to leave it. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to end up with two KG officials. <laughs> they came on a <the> bus. <laughs> Don't pay mileage that way. Right? Thanks. When we'll throw it in. There's the Valley. We're looking up. And the Valley gets a foot on it again. And it'll be a toss in for Win. Bounces off Gilmore. This is uh, Leduc. Shot, ooh, off the side of the head of the uh, wire. 338 showing in the first overtime. The uh, green throw thrown in by Ganyo. This is Sorrell. Stalker, lost it. It'll be St. John Lester with the throw. And she'll do it again. White throw, I think that was Boer. No green throw. Keeping St. John Lester busy. This is Kreckle. Taken away by the Cougars. That was number six. Six being Dominic. Green throw, when tosses it in, under two minutes to go in the first overtime. Automatic two overtime, so even if someone scores, it's not over. The boys have gone to a sudden death in the last few years. Up for the valley. Good job by Kozak. Looking back 
by Dominic. Tries to switch fields with it. There's the valley. Snides there. The valley again. There's Menard. Ball's in front of the net near the six. Tedford stopped by Baker. Another nice job by Baker. We're down to 26 seconds in the first overtime. <laughs> that was not a throw in. John Lester coming away with it, which kicks it out of bounds. And we're going to go to the second overtime, still scoreless in Champlain. We're about to start the last 10 minutes in this game. Sarah Hanfield's Cougars and Corey Thompson's Shazy Eagles. Battling to the finish. Nice ball by LaValle. Stopped away by Baker. This is five Lions tracking it out. White throw. This is uh, Dominic bringing it back. Kicked by Snide. Dominic sends it back again. Now LaValle. Shot went wide. 8 10 left in the game. White throw. Menard will take it. Bounds by Boer, be thrown in by Barcom. Right throw.
Sent up for Lavalley. 5.05 left in the game. Lavalley's going to get there and take the shot. And Baker will make the stop. A good effort. Good shot. Good stop. Kick down the field by Gilmore. McDonough trying to get clear it. She does. But she kicks it off the end line. Courtney Gilmore will take the corner kick for Shazy. Goal kick taken by McDonough. Back by Ganyo. That's a shot by Hayes. Hale brings it out. Foul bounces off Tedford. Ball goes against Shazy, the white kick. Ware will take it. 3.06 left in the game. Cougars looking for another run. Broken up by Shazy, brought right back by Dominic. Kick back again. And here come the Eagles. Home will take the throw. That'll be a corner kick. Close to the two minute mark. Tedford, uh, looks like Tedford, yeah. Now Perro has it taken away by Kozak. Washington 140 to go. Lavalley. Lavalley carries it into the corner. Lavalley's had the best opportunities for Northeastern. Baker makes a stop off Sorrell's uh, shot. Sorrell put it on net, getting it from Lavalley, but Baker made another stop. And it'll be a corner kick for the Cougars, 108 remaining. 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Baker wanted that. It went off the head of Kozak. It's another corner kick. There's Lavalley. 35 seconds. 30 seconds. Snyder will bring it to the 18, to the 6, I should say. Keeping Dale Menard busy back there. 16 seconds to go. There's Perro. Five seconds. Uh, that'll do it. It's a scoreless tie. Shay Z. I would think has to be very pleased to come here against uh, a class B school and uh, hold them to a scoreless tie. So that's the way it was on this fourth day of October 2010. Thanks for watching and for those of you supporting, viewer supported local television, hometown cable win, lose a draw TV worthy of your support, hometown cable.